Hi and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be looking at the effect of structure on properties of molecules. By changing the structure of a molecule, you can change the intermolecular forces between molecules. By changing the inter intermolecular forces from London dispersion forces to permanent dipole to hydrogen bonding, you can change the properties that the molecules will display. Properties that we'll be looking at today are boiling point, solubility and viscosity. Here we're looking at the boiling point of two different molecules. On the left we have propanone and on the right we have butane. To be able to compare the two molecules we need to account for London dispersion forces. So the molecules should be of a similar size and gram formula mass. The gram formula mass of both of these molecules is 58. For propanone we have a carbon double bond oxygen carbonyl group. This is a polar bond and it makes propanone asymmetrical. This means that propanone has permanent dipole, permanent dipole interactions between its molecules. Butane has no polar bonds within it at all. This means that the only interactions between molecules are London dispersion forces. If we look now at the boiling points, we can see what an impact this has. By having permanent dipole interactions between the molecules, propanone's boiling point is 56 degrees. This is 57 degrees higher than that of butane at minus 1. Permanent dipole permanent dipole interactions are much stronger and therefore it takes much more energy to separate molecules in propanone to be able to boil the to be able to boil the substance. Looking now at solubility. On the left we have tetrachloromethane and on the right we have trichloromethane. Both molecules contain CCl bonds. In tetrachloromethane, we have four of these bonds. This is a symmetrical molecule. So although we have four polar bonds, the molecule overall is non-polar. This means that this is not able to interact with water, which is a polar molecule. This means the solubility for tetrachloromethane is very low. On the other hand, here we have trichloromethane. This also has the chlorine to carbon polar bonds. But as it only has three of them, this makes this molecule asymmetrical and therefore polar. We have a dipole in this direction. Because the molecule is polar, it is able to interact with water, another polar molecule. This is proof of our like dissolves like rule. This increases the solubility to 8 mg per milliliter, which is much higher than that of tetrachloromethane. The final property that we're going to look at today is viscosity, and for this property I'm going to show you two experiments. The first experiment is that of emptying a burette of two liquids. The longer it takes for the burette to empty, the stronger the intermolecular forces between the molecules. This means that the liquid will be more viscous. The second experiment is putting a ball bearing through a liquid within a tube. The longer it takes for the ball bearing to fall to the bottom of the tube, the more viscous the liquid is and therefore the stronger the intermolecular forces between the molecules. In this first experiment, a burette was filled to 35 with propanone. I then opened the tap of the burette and emptied the burette until it hit the 50 line. I timed how long it took for this to happen. You'll be able to see this in the video. Propanone has permanent dipole, permanent dipole interactions as it has a polar carbon oxygen bond within the molecule. These interactions give it a certain viscosity, which means it takes a certain amount of time for the, the propanone to exit the burette. It took almost 19 seconds to empty 15 mils out of the burette. A second burette was filled to the 35 line, but this time with propanone. The same experiment was repeated. The burette was opened and allowed to empty until the 50 line and was timed as to how long this took. Propanol has an oxygen-hydrogen bond and therefore has hydrogen bonding between its molecules. This is a stronger interaction than the permanent dipole-permanent dipole interactions between the propanol molecules. This means that propanol should be more viscous than propanol and therefore take longer to empty the burette. This can be seen in the video as we're already past the 19 seconds that it took for 15 mils of propanol to empty from the burette. Propanol, in fact, takes around 38 seconds to empty out of the burette, as can be seen in the video now. 
In this next experiment, a tube was filled with water and a marble placed within it. The tube was then turned around and timed for how long it took the marble to fill, approximately two seconds. This experiment was repeated with glycerol. Glycerol is propane 1, 2, 3 triol. Glycerol contains three OH groups. This means that it has a significant amount of hydrogen bonding between its molecules, unlike water, which only has two OH groups. This means that the time taken for the marble to fall through the tube is much longer for glycerol than it is for water. It took two seconds for the marble to fall through the tube for water, even though it has hydrogen bonding between its molecules, because it is significantly less viscous than glycerol. For glycerol, it took 1 minute and 10 seconds for the marble to fall through the tube. Thank you for watching this video on properties due to bonding. I hope that you found it helpful. Please remember to subscribe and follow me on Twitter at Miss Adams Chem for regular updates on new videos. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.